Okay, folks, here's something you don't see every day. That's the world's first gummy bear battery. Made out of a gummy bear. And that's just a big old piece of candy. Gelatin is what I'm studying right now, um, specifically for the gel batteries. And um, I've been working a lot with uh, John Bedini's um, crystal batteries and the uh, burnt copper that uh, is turned into a semiconductor with magnesium and that led me into studying gel cells and how gel cells work and I thought well why not try gelatin and I found out that gelatin is what's in a jelly um, gummy bear and so I stuck a piece of magnesium and a piece of copper in it and now I have the world's first gummy bear battery and there it is running this little uh, John Bedini Earthlight circuit right there and it's a gummy bear it's just stuck in a gummy bear magnesium and copper and the ion is being exchanged in the gelatin and I don't know how long that'll last but I'll let it run for a while and see what happens now my other um, cells are all working but they've lost amperage this is probably the most successful one right here that was the hybrid with the cement the copper and the zinc and uh, I used several different things in electrolyte and finally it dried out pretty much. It's, it's almost dry and it's still operating so we'll let this one dry out completely and see what happens. I have another one that's running a clock. It's one of the early cement batteries and uh, that one's over a month old but uh, just want to let people know that uh, I'm still working on these batteries and uh, they're very interesting and the latest thing I'm studying is gelatins and gels and electrolytes in a gel form. Thanks for watching. Wool's first gummy bear battery.